Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Empowerment with Elizabeth. Today I am here with my sweet new friend Maggie. She's going to chat with us about being a state title holder and her prep for Miss Teen USA. So Maggie, tell us a little bit about you. Yes, so I am 18 years. Oh, actually, no, I'm 19 years old. I just had a birthday. Oh my goodness. I love how you forgot. That's awesome. I'm 19 now. Um, I just finished my freshman year at the University of Nebraska, Omaha. I'm studying accounting. I'm actually going to be going to cosmetology this fall. And I have a little sister. Her name's Audrey. She's supporting all the way back in Omaha, Nebraska. But I have a little sister and she's completely different than I am. That is for sure. That is for sure. She does soapbox derby racing. Crazy, crazy, but I'm a dancer and that has kind of been my whole life. And then I started doing pageants and now I'm Miss Nebraska Teen USA and here we are. So exciting. So exciting. So you said, you know, you just started doing pageants. So what got you interested? Um, What was kind of your lead into pageants and how did it get you to where you are now? So my mom actually was Miss Nebraska USA 1999, and she was Miss Michigan Teen USA as well. So I remember, you know, going into our basement, seeing her crown, but I was never allowed to touch it. And we would watch Miss USA and Miss America on TV, but I never really thought it would be something that I would do because I was on the track to become a professional ballet dancer. And so I wasn't going to go to college. I didn't need the scholarship money. And it's just something that really crossed my mind. And then... I needed to go to college. I decided that I didn't want to be a professional ballet dancer anymore. And so I was like, okay, I need the scholarship money. And so maybe I'll give it a try. So my very first pageant was a Miss America local. I ended up winning and I was shocked. It was not something that I really expected, but I won. I had a great time. I competed for Miss Nebraska's teen last summer or outstanding teen, but now it's Miss Nebraska's teen. And I got second runner up. It was a great experience. It was a great kind of intro to pageants. And I made so many friends, actually two girls, the Miss Nebraska's outstanding teen that year that was crowning, as well as one of the girls that I met competing with, they're coming to Miss Teen USA to watch. So I've met some great people through it. And yeah, I did that. And then I ended up going to the Miss Teen Volunteer America pageant back in March had a great experience there as well. I had never thought that I was going to go to a national pageant, but Allison DeMarcus was like, do you want to represent Nebraska? And I mean, I couldn't say no. So I went there, got second runner up. It was another great experience. Again, something that I wasn't expecting. You know, you don't expect to hear Nebraska be called for the semifinalists or even top five. So I was shocked. I was so proud of myself. And then Miss Nebraska Teen USA came around finally, and I was like, okay, this is something that I, this is something that I really want to do. So I did it, and I won. And now I'm in LA, and I'm getting ready for Miss Teen USA, and I'm so excited. I love it. I love it. Uh, you know, and obviously you've been doing um, a variety of different systems, so you are well-versed in the areas of competition. So I want to know what your favorite phase of competition is and why. So I love interview. I actually am just a naturally shy person. I don't think I could even order my own food in a restaurant until I was probably 12 years old. So that was something that was really hard for me. But through doing pageants, I've gained so much confidence in myself and people want to hear what I have to say, which like I never expected to be in a position where people would be interested in what I had to say. So the fact that I can walk into an interview room and they just want to get to know me, like they're not rooting for me to fail. They're like, oh, I hope she does awful. Like I want this other girl to win. No, like they're rooting for you. They want you to do well. They want to get to know who you are. And pageants have kind of allowed me to step out of that comfort zone and talk to people. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And this next question, I won't lie, is probably the trickiest one. So you can take a second to think if you need to. But I want to know why you think the judges selected you specifically to represent the state. I do think it was all in my interview. I think that I won in my interview. And I mean, that's kind of cliche to say, but I talked to them about one of my very good friends, Jack, who died by suicide. And he's one of the reasons that I started doing pageants as well, because I wanted the platform to talk to people, to share not only my story, but his story as well in order to help other people. So I talked about Jack. I talked about what pageants have done for me and how I've gained so much confidence and experience from doing pageants. And 
I was ready to take on the responsibilities of being Miss Nebraska Teen USA. And honestly, I was ready to go to Miss Teen USA. I was only crowned three, four weeks ago. So I had to be ready. I, there was nothing I can do to change in four weeks. Like that is almost impossible. So I had to be ready. And I think that a combination of all those things is really what got me the job. Yeah. And and you mentioned that you had to already be ready, but I'm sure you still did some sort of prep. So talk to us about what your prep has looked like. I know, like you just said, you're literally already in LA for nationals. So prep is over at this point. So what did you end up doing? What did you focus on with your prep? So I just kept doing what I was already doing. I worked with Lisa Dean, who is our interview coach sponsor. So I worked with her. She's great. Amazing. Um, so I kept working on interview. I went to the gym, kept working out, really just kept doing all my normal things. But the main thing that we were focusing on was wardrobe because like I said, I only had four weeks. So that's hard to get a nationals wardrobe in four weeks is really difficult. Actually, the day after I won, we drove to Indiana to get my gown and that was the first step state costume. Nobody really thinks about that, but we just got that in the mail on Monday. Today is what is today? Today is Thursday. So we just got that. Actually, I just got my sashing ceremony dress in the mail here in LA because it had to be shipped here because we had like no time to go get it. So it's yeah. Wardrobe has been the biggest part of my prep, but I love it all. And I'm so excited for everybody to see my gown. Oh, Oh, we are excited to see it. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Final question. If you could give one piece of advice to a girl competing at Miss Nebraska Teen USA next year, what would it be? I would say just be yourself. That's so hard in the pageant world, but you have to be yourself. You can't fake it because you can't fake it for a year. You have to want this and you have to want to do it. I have honestly felt guilty at times because I haven't been my full self and I want to show people that, you know, you can be a pageant girl and you can be, you don't have to fit into a mold. I have tattoos, I have piercings, and that's part of who I am. That's part of what I love about myself. So you don't have to fit into that stereotypical pageant girl, big hair, makeup all the time mold. Like I wear jeans and tank tops every single day that I'm not like that I don't have any pageant stuff. You just have to be yourself and you have to be able to be open and express who you are with the judges, not be scared to share any part about yourself because as a title holder, you have to be able to make those connections and you can only do that if you're being your true authentic self. There you go. I love it. Well, thank you so much, Maggie, for coming on and chatting with us um, literally at the 11th hour before Miss Team USA. <laughs> and just know that we'll be, we will be rooting you on. Well, thank you so much for having me. I had so much fun. Of course. And I'll see the rest of you guys on our next episode. Bye, y'all.